пидоров. Почему? Потому что они кто? Оккупанты. Открыв глаза, я вижу надпись на крыше. Давайте, давайте, пацаны, работаем. Дрон, дрон. Все, давайте, двоечка, кто с ним парит? А, это легитимный, блядь. Подожди, стой, Свет, стой. Пацаны, вы уже выходите, все, оставайтесь сейчас. Да, смотрите, нашел тут Америку, пятый левел. Не, бесплатно она. Я просто. Да, я бы и забрал бы. Мне просто там рюкзак тащить его туда. Братан, какие всем косарей стоят? Не, ну ты американцы. Давай, проходи, проходи. А вы вы какого бота, пацаны? Только, только пошли наши вот эти песни. Нам вчера тоже ж город бежал, сбежал в подвал, короче, ну да, бежал и брать эти них. Ну их нахуй. О, смотри, как у, как у него курточка, понял, такой у тебя штаны. Можешь у него выменять, понял, будет комплект. Ну, да, 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 я туда к тебе за альфом, кстати. Да? Их не рота, можно, их не звонок мало идти. На минометку. Дорогой мяг, друга рота. Пролетел, да? Он туда летит, типа, в сторону пидоров, это может нас. Все целы? Давайте, сыпать надо, пацаны, пока не прилетел. Ты быстро идем, мы на реке, пацаны, но должно быть. И дистанция, дистанция. Дистанция. Вот сюда прилетел Фидор. Belarus's Mazir oil refinery workers panicking over Ukrainian drones. The latest wave of Ukraine drone attacks on the Russian refinery system is likely to have a more meaningful impact on Russian refinery production than the ones in January and February. Since then, there has been another flurry of drone attacks across a further five refining sites, resulting in primary processing capacity outages and lower refined product exports. The recent wave of Ukraine drone attacks on Russian refinery infrastructure has been focused on primary processing capacity and is expected to have a more substantial impact than the attacks earlier this year. In this condition, Russia may use Belarus's Mazir oil refinery. But the wife of a Mazir refinery worker told Charter 97, media outlet, that the plant workers are panicking about a possible drone attack on the plant. Dejection, insomnia. I've been living with these feelings for the last week. My husband works at the Mazir oil refinery. The company's workers are afraid that a drone may also fly to them. There is nowhere to leave the plant, since none of the other institutions can compete in salaries with our city-forming enterprise. At the plant, among close colleagues, everyone is just discussing this topic, what to do, how to deal with the situation, she added. I myself monitor situations through independent websites and telegram channels. Every day I ask my husband what is new, but the plant management says nothing. People go to work silently, scared. 
I am afraid that my children will become orphans because of political games. With the outbreak of the war, our city turned into some kind of unpredictable volcano. Either we are treating the wounded or gathering them for training camps, or there is military equipment that is scary to approach because they will immediately mark you as a terrorist. We have actually been living in the frontline zone for two years now. And now we are still waiting for the drones to arrive. If you think about it, the Ukrainians have an absolute right to attack our plant as a source of fuel for a war against a neighboring country, she said.